So Korea AI has introduced their new feature of AI video generation. And along with that, they have completely reorganized their interface, their timeline, where now you can basically add keyframes in your videos as well, which means you can add as many reference images as you want in your videos to get the most perfect and accurate results ever. So this amazing feature can be used in so many cases. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the process of creating videos with the help of keyframes. And we're going to discuss all the use cases that this new AI video generator offers. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys. So here I am in the homepage of Korea.ai. So you guys can see Korea AI has completely redesigned their website. Now we have some cool kind of animations in real time. So you can obviously go ahead and generate images, which Korea AI was really famous uh, before the new update. Then we had the enhancer upscale images, which is really, really good as well. So if you haven't seen our last video on Korea AI, where I basically tested out, uh, the image generation and enhancer of Korea. So you can definitely check out our previous video. I'll uh, paste the link in the description. And the new option that uh, we just explore in Korea AI is this AI video generation, all right? So yeah, for that, I'm going to go ahead and click generate videos. So this is basically a very new design and new interface where we don't see that in any other AI video generation tools, right? So we have kind of a timeline over here where basically it shows uh, AI videos in real time, which is really, really crazy. Then you have the option of generate video, of course, then download and upscale, okay? And then over here, you guys can see we have a few more options to select style for your videos, which we have film, a render, animation, and experimental, so yeah, which we'll be testing out shortly. And then we have a few more options over here. So yeah, first of all, we have the option for the timeline right over here, and then we have the setting options. So from here, you can go ahead and select your aspect ratio, which can be 16 by 9, 3 by 2, 1 by 1, 2 by 3, 9 by 16, like quite a few options. Then you have motion intensity, all right? So yeah, now you can go ahead and select motion as well for your videos, like how much you want your subject to move in the video, right? Which is also very, very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that to 60 where it was before. Okay, and then we have a very cool option of loop video, right? So this is really, really useful. So yeah, now you can go ahead and turn on this option if you want your video to run over and over again and if you want your video to not stop, okay? Then we also have the option for clip duration. So you can go ahead and select maximum 10 seconds uh, clip duration, which is really, really crazy because, you know, in other AI tools, you don't see any video more than like three, four seconds. So 10 seconds AI video is really a good step. Okay. All right. So now let's jump to the main cool part. So now you can go ahead and add keyframes to your videos as well. Like you can go ahead and put images into your videos and you can basically animate between those images so that you get the exact accurate results out of your AI video generation tool. So this is a very new, amazing step in the world of AI video generation, okay? So yeah, over here uh, for reference, you guys can see that basically added two keyframes and for that, it had basically provided these textual prompts. So colorful summary on black background and our next keyframe is Tango mask on black background, okay? So yeah, I had basically generated these keyframes with the help of textual prompts. And if you don't want to do that, you can simply go ahead and upload images as well over here, all right? So you can go ahead and add your own keyframes. You can upload your own images and generate the most out of it, which is absolutely crazy as well, right? And yep, yeah, if you want to go ahead and add more and more keyframes, so you can obviously do that. You can add as many keyframes as you want, which is a really good feature as well, okay? All right, so first of all, let's just go ahead and generate some videos with the help of keyframes that will be generating with textual prompts. Then we're gonna go ahead and move towards uh, some, you know, images. Uh, for a keyframe. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and remove this, the previous keyframes, and I'm going to go ahead and start with a clip duration as five, okay? And I'm going to elongate uh, these textual prompts as well. So yeah, I'm going to basically go ahead and do that with four keyframes with the help of my textual prompts. Okay, so four textual prompts, and you know, it's going to generate images uh, with the help of those textual prompts right away. 
And with the help of that, I'll be able to create a four second, very, very accurate video, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and select add keyframe. And in that, I'm gonna go to generate button. And I'm gonna type over here my prompt that young girl and you can see right away, like, you know, it's generating in real time, which is absolutely crazy. In a bright dress. Okay, looks good. Playing joyfully. Like, check it out. In a lush green guard. So, yeah. All right. So, our results turned out really, really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and select this. All right. So, it's done. And for our next keyframe, I'm going to go ahead and select this right over here. Okay, so for our next prompt, I'm going to go ahead and write like little girl laughing and running through a colorful flower filled garden. Okay, so this will be my second keyframe. And for the third keyframe, I'm going to go ahead and write in my prompt. And for the fourth keyframe, I'm going to go ahead and write over here that young girl skipping happily among the flowers and trees in a sunny garden. All right. So these are uh, my four keyframes right over here. Okay. All right, so through here, I'm going to go ahead and select my styles. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and do that with the film one. So I'm going to click on generate video. So yeah, for four second clip, it's going to take around like a minute or so. So it's going to do the process like two to three times. So first of all, it's going to generate you a low resolution video. Like it will process everything, like all the keyframes. And after, you know, a few tries, it's going to generate our final high resolution output for you. All right. So yeah, just wait for that for a moment. All right, so here we go, like take a look at the results. Wow, this is really beautiful. Like it's a very amazing kind of a, like a montage scene you guys can see. And yeah, the video is running in loop. And yeah, we do have very amazing, accurate results that we provided in our keyframes, right? So yeah, uh, the girl is changing. We don't see any deformation in that. And yeah, take a look at the flowers, like the leaves in the background. Everything looks top notch. So yeah, from here, I can simply go ahead and download this video for my future references, okay? So yeah, now if I go ahead and check out the same video with my different styles. So first of all, I did that with film. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact video with render, animation, and experimental style. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the difference and see which style is the best for creating AI videos with Kriya AI. All right, guys, so here we go. Here are our four results, like four different styles. First of all, we have film and render. So yeah, film and render, they both basically give you quite similar results, but I think the render one looks really, really good. I really like the contrast and lighting in that. And yeah, animation, obviously, it gives you like some kind of uh, animated cartoonish video. It looks really, really good. And then for the experimental, it basically does uh, a bit of experiment with your videos. It doesn't like take care of deformation and all that. But yeah, the results you can expect, uh, you know, some kind of a miracle like experiment from the results of experimental style. OK, all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and do one more example. So I'll be creating a six second long video. Uh, with six different keyframes, okay? So yeah, uh, for that, my main subject in that is gonna be Logistic Dragon in Fight, okay? So this will be my subject. So yeah, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and set my clip duration as six seconds. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add six keyframes, okay? So first of all, uh, my keyframe is gonna be, I'm gonna type in my textual prompt, which is gonna be Majestic Dragon with shimmering scales soaring through the sky okay so you guys can see it's creating for me in real time which is absolutely perfect okay so this will be uh my first keyframe all right so yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and go to my next keyframe for that i'm gonna type in my textual prompt which is gonna be majestic dragon flying gracefully above the clouds with wings fully spread okay and just like that i'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my keyframes for my ai video okay all right so here we go everything is now set up so yeah you guys can see one thing uh, my all prompts are starting with majestic dragon right because i want to go ahead and keep my consistent character consistent style so, you know, for that, you need to make sure like your subject is sane 
and just the description and rest of the details should be different so you get different results. But uh, for consistent characters and consistent style, your subject should be same, which is Majestic Dragon in all of these cases right over here, okay? All right, so now uh, my all keyframes are set up. So I'm going to go ahead and generate video in a render style because this was the style I liked the most previously. Okay, so I'm going to click on generate video. All right, guys, so here we go. Our video is done for a majestic dragon flying. So you guys can see, you know, the animation, the transition, everything looks top notch to the point, right? So yeah, this is absolutely crazy. So yeah, we have everything perfectly transitioned. Like you can see, we have dragon flying and it's changing. Then we have like some kind of a close up. So yeah, everything looks to the point and we don't see any deformation. So yeah, this is the, basically the future of AI video generation where you'll be able to set up the keyframes and you'll be able to set everything up so that your video comes out accurate and you don't see any kind of a deformation or anything in the video. So this is a very amazing step in the world of AI video generation, okay? All right, so another cool thing you can do with Kriya AI is you can now go ahead and upload your own images as well, like as your keyframes, uh, you know, so that you can get perfect accurate results. So yeah, for that, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, play around with all these images that I created with Dali like few weeks ago for my another video. So these all images have consistent character and consistent style. So this will be uh, perfect for my this use case. Okay. So yeah, uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and basically select a 10 second long video. I'm going to go maximum now. And I'm going to go ahead and select 10 key frames, right? So this will be a really cool mini project. So yeah, uh, first of all, uh, for the first key frame, I'm going to upload my first image, which is going to be this one. All right. And for the second key frame, I'm going to go ahead and upload my next image, which is going to be this one. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and select my third key frame, which is going to be this amazing image of a superhero at top of the building. And now I'm going to go ahead and add all the rest of my key frames one by one. OK. All right. So here we go. So our timeline suddenly looks like this. I'm really much excited for this mini project. So we have 10 different key frames. All of them are changing, but they do have like consistent character uh, between them. So yeah, now let's just go ahead and generate this video again with render style. And I'm going to select aspect ratio as 16 by 9. All right, perfect. Let's just generate this and see how uh, this project is going to turn out. Okay. All right, guys. So here we go. Take a look at this video. Wow, this turned out absolutely perfect. Like, take a look at the transitions, everything. Obviously, uh, you know, the video had... Uh, consistent character, consistent style, but obviously the setting and everything, uh, the background was different. But Kriya AI beautifully transitioned all the images, like everything, and now we have a perfect style video that we wanted out of Kriya AI. So this is how you can go ahead and upload your own images, put it as your keyframes, and make amazingly looking AI videos without any problem. So yeah, there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of the new feature of Kriya AI, AI video generation with the help of keyframes. So I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.